Starting with a red velvet cake, I'll put some cream cheese buttercream right in the center. Smooth it out with my spatula. And then stack it up. I like doing four layers of cake and three layers of filling. And of course the crumb coat. I don't want any of those red crumbs in the final coat. Stick it in the fridge for 20 or 30 minutes and do a final coat. Smooth it all out nice. Crisp up that corner. I made a 6 inch, a 9 inch, and a 12 inch cake. And I'll be covering all of those in homemade marshmallow fondant. I do have a video on how I make the fondant so you can check that out. Drape it over, smooth it out. And cut the excess off. With my fondant smoothers, I'll crisp up that edge. Then using a fondant tool, I'll make some vertical lines in the soft fondant. Now for the 12 inch tier. I'm going to be making little ruffles. For that I'm making a really thin piece of fondant. I believe I use the number three on the pasta wheel. Cut some circles. Put a little water or piping gel. Fold it almost in half. And then almost in half again. And I made lots and lots of circles for lots and lots of ruffles. Then I'll stick them on the cake. You can see that I stuck some on the cake already, but I didn't like how they were laying. So I removed them all and now I'm placing them again. I don't mind showing you guys my mistakes and my successes. So that's why I showed that to you. I'll take those cute little ruffles and put them all the way around and most the way up. Then I'll work on the middle tier. Here I have some gold luster dust. I'll just mix that with a little lemon extract. You can also use vodka or Everclear. And with a sponge, I'll just dab it on. I do want some of that white showing through. Right along the bottom, I'll use a paintbrush to get that gold on it. And then I'll put some support dowels into the 12 inch chair. And some fondant paste to stick it on. Oh my goodness, that looks like a smiley face. I never noticed that before. But once I have the 8 inch tier on, I will go ahead and finish those ruffles all the way to the next tier. I'm using my spatula kind of to crease it right next to the 8 inch cake. Sorry, 9 inch cake. Hit the 9 inch. Stack the 6 inch tier on top, and there we have it. This is a fairly easy cake. Time consuming, but easy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.